Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Let me just kill this doe real quick. No? Oh my god, this aim is absolutely terrible. Okay, <laughs> finally. Um, okay, so basically we're going to um, go ahead and do a raid of the Cracker Book. I've been wanting to do this and I thought about it um, in between the video that I made previously, going to the church and finding um, some books and whatnot. And I figured, you know what, let's just find a Cracker Book and let's see if we can um, raid the crap out of this. So we're going to do that today. Now it is a little bit later in the day, unfortunately. So I was doing a few things um, a little bit off camera admittedly, just to sort of try and get things moving along. I did end up finding another church in this biome and surprise, surprise, I got the burning shaft mod for um, handheld melee weapons. So hopefully that would involve the, um, the ax that I have here as well but also the baseball bat and the reinforced club if I find either A, the schematic to craft it myself or B, um, the ability to craft it, uh, sorry, to purchase it from say like a, um, oops, just get review, uh, from a trader. Hey, get out of here, stop raging on me. Oh my God, okay. So that's pretty much where I'm at with things. So I think now, now that I've actually got something that sort of give me a little bit more of an incentivization to get onto, ooh, nice, mix, um, to uh, start off with a build, that's basically where I'm going to sort of um, start off with. Can I jump? No, I cannot. I'm going to deal with you first. And you're going to start raging on me. And come on, buddy. Let's just keep hacking at you. There we go. Anyway, um, probably not the best of starts, but I did also find a, um, a level 3 junk turret. Now, to be honest, uh, the level 3 is not as good as my level 2 that I have at the moment. So, what I'm probably thinking is I might just fix it up and I may as well just go sell it at the trader just to get a, a little bit more coin, um, that sort of stuff. So, we'll probably start off doing that once I get to the next trader. Um, okay, so... Um, there doesn't appear to be a ease of access to get into this building. But what I might just end up doing is this might be a good idea to camp out here if I don't have any sort of um well, you know, way of getting back home if I sort of live too late in the day. Uh, there's nothing else I can see up here. Let's just quickly do a quick little nerve hole. I just want to get a bit of eyes. Okay, so that's just all that, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so let's us find the this thing. Okay, and we'll just quickly head down. And I'm just gonna take that with me for the minute. I'm gonna find a way in. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to force my way in on this one here, guys. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll probably just go inside the front door. Why not? You know. So let's just do that. Knock knock people. Here we go. Um, alright, let's see, who have we got around here? Is there anyone that's going to... Ah, okay, there we go. We've got our first customer inside this POI. Let's just go ahead and take him out. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about food as well because I don't have a great deal of heal on me right now. So probably not the best idea to, uh, to do what I've just done here. But um, we'll see how we... Ooh, what is that? Oh, batter up. Okay, that's it. I need to find clubs. I need to find a club. I've just specced into the batter up now. So now that we've done that, uh, let's go ahead and do a quick peek ski. So I've got number six. I can craft the baseball bat. Are you serious? I didn't even really look at that to be honest with you. Oh my God, I'm gonna need forged steel for that baseball parts. Wow, oh man, as good as I can oh no way so you can repair it with repair kits scrap for baseball parts i need baseball parts how do i find that no that you can't even um oh, okay well i'm gonna have to find an actual baseball oh baseball pat sorry <laughs> okay so look I'm, I'm a bit happy with that there so now i sort of have a way that you know the pathway now 
I think that's probably the biggest important thing that I really want to sort of uh, cover off. You know what? I'm going to purchase some of these because uh, I do not have anything at the moment. So let's just get that. Let's just get that. And we've got the can of peas. This is probably not the best efficient way of doing this, but um, I do need uh, a little bit of heal. So yeah, it has to happen. So well, oh Jesus, get out of here. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna have to quickly run, quickly run and get myself out of here. And I'm bleeding at the moment. Where oh, it was my, okay. All right, I was too distracted. I get it, way too distracted with that one there. Um, I'm gonna have to start eating this. Okay, this is definitely not ideal for me. Definitely not ideal. the best thing, well, not the fact that I haven't been using it, so I really need to get a lot better at that, and I guess in a sense there, I didn't want to have to he heavily rely on the turret, so I guess it's pretty more of my reason as to why, but, you know, it is what it is, which I've still got a bit of ammo there, so which is not too bad, it's empty, I didn't get through to that, um, yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, a bit of a shaky one to the start of this, so I think I've rated everything here, I think I should be fine. To be honest, I'm actually now a little bit gutted for the fact that I haven't actually gotten the start that I wanted, but at least I've sort of found a few things that is sort of going to help me out uh, moving forward, so yeah, it's definitely going to help me, um, but let's see what else that we can get from this cracker book here. Lucky Looter, oh yes, uh, this is volume 2. Okay, we'll find more ammo. That's good. So that'll definitely help me out. Um, I might even have to, in fact, switch over to my gun as well, just so I can um, hopefully survive um, this little ordeal here. So we're at 1,500 hours, um, so I don't know how fast I can actually get through this and what sort of lies um, above me. Right like that. Oh my god. Okay. See, just like that. Yeah, so I don't know how well I'm going to go with this. There's some food here, which is good. Um, yeah. So I'm going to have to start chowing down on some food here because I'm going to need it. I'm definitely going to need it. And... That's, that's going to hold any waiting, I have no idea, but I'm just going to scrap all of that, scrap you at the same time, eat the pears. Um, <coughs> well, at least I know this way that I'm not going to get um, hungry anytime soon, which is probably a good thing. I do have all this raw meat. Um, I can always make charred meat if I make a campfire, that's, that's probably one thing I could possibly do, but um, I kind of don't really want to do that just yet. I mean... I'm probably close to that point, to be honest with you, but right now, um, I feel like I should probably just sort of stick it out as best as I can and hope for the best, I guess. That's probably where I'm at right now. Um, okay, so, got a bit of paper starting to amount, so, which is good. I mean, I can always sell that back out to the trader uh, when I get down there. Um, Alright, let's just... I should probably just drop my turret down. It's probably a good idea. Let's just go ahead and do that anyway. Okay, I'll let the let it come out this way. And I'll let my turret just sort of do his thing and sort of wear him down a little bit. Oh, and I'll just sort of... Oh, hang on. That wasn't supposed to happen. And that was definitely not supposed to happen. Come on, get him. Thank you. Yeah. I really need to get out of... I've got to stop using this axe, as, well, as good as it is. Um, ooh, okay. Um, I'm not... I need a faster... Um, ooh, table saw, hello. Okay, cool. Let's 
So we're starting to find some good things here, which is not bad. Um, table saw. Uh, advanced shapes and decorations for the base. Okay, well, it's probably a lot more, you know, um, when I've got more time and leisure in terms of, um, you know, playing out the game for to build out my base or something like that. Get a little bit fancy schmancy with it at the end of the day. Um, what have we got here? Ooh, what about you? Uh, wasteland treasures, okay, acid extremely rare and powerful crafting agent. I figured this tip, uh, okay, harvest from, uh, harvest a little from cars, medical equipment as a chance to harvest. Okay, cool, so I can find acid. Well, hopefully find more acid, I guess. <laughs> more of a drop rate by the mix of things. Um, doesn't seem to be much of anything here. Um, a couple of more bookcases here. I can't even function right now at the moment. Um, what, what else? What else? There's a bunch of these. Um, all these. Uh, what do you call it? backers? Yeah, but they don't give me any sort of little hidey hole which I can sort of find. But um, you know, any certain loot or anything like that. But I think that's it for the cracker book. So actually, it's not a bad little POI. And you can pretty much find things pretty quickly. Because right up here, there's really not much else going on up here. So we can sort of, you know, get away with that, I guess, at the end of the day. Um, so let's just break that, break that, break that, and absolutely zero, zilp, zilch, nothing there. Um, I didn't actually go through here, so we might just go ahead and break open. And let's just get my junk turret out. No, 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 no. Let's just help you along. Okay, hello, Dennis. Thank you for that. the equation. Thank you very much. Okay, what do we have in here? Some more bullets, which is good. Oil, great. Oh, it's just one more. I thought there were two separate rooms for whatever uh, reasoning. Okay, so that looks like that seems to be it, which is good. I think I'll take you. Um, nothing else that I can grab from here. If you have nothing, and you also have nothing, nothing from you, and nothing from you. Okay. So that looks like that's pretty much it from there. So what we'll do is we shall get the hell out of here. Um, where is my bicycle? Okay, let's go back to the map here. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to sort of head further down. Oop, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, thank you very much. Um, okay, so let's go down onto the main road here. So we actually do have a little bit of time today. And I'm just going to go visit the other... Um, am I going the right direction? Yes, I am. I think I've got to turn this way. Yes, it is. So we're going to head straight down this way. There's actually two um, uh, traders. So I've got two extra traders further down this way. Yes, it's in the winter biome, so probably not the best um, best places to sort of be in, hence the reason why my player is freezing at the moment. But, um, hopefully it gives us a little bit more chance and finding um, a little bit more in terms of uh, lootage. So, we'll head down and we'll suss it out and we'll get over to that trader in no time at all. Alrighty guys, so we've got to the trader here. Um, I did try to raid a couple of cars, uh, one or two realistically, but I didn't find any assets, so that was a little bit disappointing. So I don't know what the percentage is um, in finding um, items at an accelerated pace once you've sort of found, you know, a couple of books here and there. Can I use this? No, I cannot. Um, so yeah, so that, I'm not too sure what the go is with that. So, you know, is what it is. Uh, Food-wise, you know what? I'm just going to quickly wait it out because he's not hungry or anything like hey, that. So don't come in here unzipped. Before. He has first, and if, if I can get what I need, then yeah, 100%. We'll start investing in uh, food wise. So I'm just going to quickly get rid of a few things that I really don't need at the moment. He doesn't want that, so I'm just going to throw that out. The jacket, um, cold resist plus one. I might even just wear that. Um, sell that. It's only a couple of bucks. I'm not going to really worry about that. 10 bucks for that. That's all good. 
Um, just so I've got a bit of inventory management to sort of, you know, go on just for the minute. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. So that's all for Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. Oh, let me just quickly fix this up. And it was 176 dukes and it's 344, so nearly double the amount, so may as well. So, like I said, it's a level 3, this does damage, the magazine size is a little bit different, so it's about an extra 13 rounds per minute is, um, uh, that goes up to about 108, effective range plus 1, and then durability. You know what, I really don't, I'll probably find something a little bit more better further down the line, so I may as well just sell the thing. And just sort of, you know, leave it as that. So That's right. At Did least it math. gives me 4,200 to play with. So let's go ahead and have a quick look-see. And ooh, I can get a workbench for 4,000. Forge for 2. Um, cement mixer for 5. Wow, there's actually got some really good stuff here at the moment. To be honest, I really don't need the workbench right away. Cement mixer is very tempting. Um... I mean, I've got, the, I've got the workbench closest um, to me at my nearest um, trade-up back at my home base. So I've already got a forge, so I don't need a second one just yet. The mixer is probably the most tempting proposition right now, but um, that's not what we sort of come here for today. So I really need to find... Um, oh my god, it's also for three, three and a half thousand now. Jesus Christ. Okay, iron spears, but I really want to find... You know, a bat or a reinforced club or something that's sort of going to give me um, a little bit better protection for myself. He's got food here as well. I might even just end up buying his um, eggs. A little bit harder to come by, as you, as you probably would imagine. So we'll just grab that. Oh, this is interesting. Um, I actually might just buy that just so I can just heal up a little bit more. So that's probably the best play for that. Um, and what do you have over here? Hobo stew recipe. Um, I've already opened that up, so that's fine. Hunting rifle, AK, engine, automatic weapons handbook. Um, and you have absolutely nothing that I'm interested in if right now. If there's nothing else, you best be on your way. Um, I don't know if I want to open this up with the one little lock pick that I have. Hey, if it opens up in one hit, um, happy days. So, I've only got the one lockpick here, so my suspicion is probably it's going to break, but if it opens up, I'm just going to take whatever it... No, okay. Uh, disregard that, guys. Anyway, so we'll keep moving on. I'm just going to lock him up, and we're actually going to go to the next trader now. So, I'm just over here. Next trader is going to be down there. And it's basically like a little um, like a little map that I've sort of mapped out here, and there's one over here. Look, to be honest, what it is, 1800 hours, I'm not too sure how I'm sort of going to get myself over there. Um, so, what I was thinking is by the time I oops, just get out of here quickly, um, by the time I sort of get back out, or oh, sorry, I get out of the, um, the winter biome here, I'm probably going to sort of seek refuge at, um, well, like, like a little base that I've, I've set up in my other world. Obviously, I can't sort of get it. Um, access it from here naturally but um i did camp out there when i first found this little base and it's, a, it's like a it's a water tower basically so with the water tower itself i can sort of hide up there for the meantime and just um stay inside the confinement of it and um yeah just sort of wait it out to the next morning and then continue on our little um adventure so that's basically where i'm sort of at with things and then by then, um, I'll be thinking about um, Horde Night as well over the next uh, day or two. So we'll see how we sort of go with that. Uh, but pretty much that's where we're at with things. I just sort of want to go from um, trader to trader and just see what is available. My local trader didn't have any sort of bat or reinforced club or anything of that nature, which I'm really disappointed about. But, you know, what, what can you sort of do with that? There's really not much um, until you actually find... Either you find something through a, um, a POI um, and you know you get a lucky break on that. That's probably going to be the only time that you're going to find a few things um, that are going to be of interest to you. I was thinking about um, uh, raiding a couple of barnyards because I know again I'm just referring back to my other world that I sort of muck about in. I did end up finding a, um, a level five uh, reinforced club, but then again my game stage was a little bit higher, so I don't know that sort of contributed to the fact. Um, but otherwise, that's sort of what I'm 
sort of thinking about doing, but I'm just being conscious about time. As much as I sort of want to do that, you know, sort of straight away, I don't want to really, um, you know, uh, invest time into something and then, you know, only get halfway through it and I don't have a place to stay kind of thing because I doubt that I'm going to make it back to my home base um, by the time that night sets in, so I'm going to have to sort of make up some temporary accommodation. So you see like that there, that little tower up there, that's basically where I was sort of staying up um, in my other world. I sort of built it out as like a little, um, like a little uh, cubby house, sort of tree house base kind of thing. Um, so it sort of works out. I mean, my, um, you know, uh, zombies don't sort of really hassle it or anything like that, so which is really good. Re very fortunate to be honest with you um, in that regard. But um, so far, um, we are just sort of, actually how far are we? away from the straight we're actually not that, not that far away I do see a doe there so I'm actually gonna um, take him out there we go and there's a little tree stop there which I'm gonna grab as well I'm gonna go grab some honey and let's grab him I've got some meat happening as well so if I do end up finding a little bit like a, a cooking pot or something like that at least I know I can whoop, Let's just get out of harm's way now, because I can't be bothered dealing with you, mate. I don't, really don't want to. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so if I find a cooking pot, I'll be lucky if I have that, and then I can sort of use that to make some boiled meat and sort of, you know, be okay. But um, we'll, we'll quickly run over to this trader now and see what's what. Alrighty, so back at the... Well, not back. Just got to this trader. So let's have a look see and see what you got. I pray that you have something decent for me, buddy. I really do. Um, yeah, I do need some. Are something, you something. okay there? Please give me something that I want. Uh, right now, nothing there. Well, you got some painkillers, but that's like really expensive. The forged steel. Ooh. Hang on. Oh, no, you know what? I think I just found what I'm looking for. So, there is a level 5 reinforced club. I've got day, I've got to day 13 before the stock changes over. And that's four and a half thousand, four and a half thousand dukes. I am close, but I'm not that close. I don't know if I really want to... You know, I probably would have been happier with a level 3, maybe. I don't know. Now that it's here... And I'm, and I'm staring at it. I don't know what to do. I honestly do not know what to do. I've got 4,200 just out of that. Uh, wood, he's not going to be interested in. Do you like bullets? He does, but not that much. No sale price for any sort of bones. Duct tape I want to hang on to. He's, he likes that. Let's just go ahead and sell that. I know I'm cold and whatnot, but it is what it is. So 4,300. If I do maybe one... Uh, one one quest for him. I'll probably get what I'm after. Let's just go ahead and see what else is there first before I sort of make that commitment. Uh, advanced bellows. That's interesting. Forge smelting speed quickly. Oh, I don't know what I want to do now because Are what, I was, done here? what I was thinking is... Oops. I'm really going to turn off my caps lock. There we go. Um, I can buy the forge steel. I just need baseball bat parts. And then I can craft my own baseball bat, but that's only a level one, and I don't know how good that's going to be in terms of um, uh, uh, you know attack and all that sort of stuff. So I really don't know. Um, it is tempting, but it's going to run me a thousand duke. Oh no, not, not a thousand. What am I saying? Yeah, a thousand duke. Sorry, what I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, yes. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure how I feel about that just yet. That's that's quite expensive. Uh, you don't have anything that's cheaper for me that's close, I guess. Ultimately, you just want to sort of run out and find it somewhere, to be honest with you. And I might just actually end up doing that. I might even just spend a, a day in the game just to sort of off... Um, ooh, lucky looter. Um, new gold in the wasteland because it's what bulls are made from. I haven't actually got that. Should I get that? But then again, I'm going to say I'm going to be saying goodbye to that. That's a gamble. That is a gamble. Yeah, the Great Heist. 
accommodation is safe, learn how to break into safe much easier and faster, do 10% more damage. That's actually not a bad um, book to grab, to be honest. Stuff it. I'm just going to grab that. And the Great Heist. Uh, I don't know what I want to do now. The Wood Splitter mod. I think I can modify that with that. Let's just buy that. I know I said I was going to buy the the Reinforced Club, but... Hmm. I've got a couple of days. I've got a couple of days before that happens. Now that's all you're going to buy? I'll and let you I show yourself out. I kind of want to sort of... Um, just modify that and pop you into that one. It actually does a pretty decent increase, so that might actually help me out. Let's just go ahead and read that, and go ahead and read that, which is good. I don't think that gives me the ability to make lockpicks now, um, which is... Uh, uh, no, it doesn't. It's still locked. So I, I need the Great Heist completion, and then I need to spec into it for me to do it. But being that I've got one of the books there, hopefully it gives me the ability to... Um, uh, pretty much, actually, you know what, I should probably just heal up to my first aid kit too. Um, yeah, so pretty much I should be able to, um, possibly open the locks a little bit easier, but I need to possibly spec into it. So how much points do I have, to be honest, let's just have a look at that. I've got nine points to spend, and I haven't even started doing that, and, oh. And, but this is what I'm saying too, I need to spe start specking into a build. And I haven't been able to do that because I've been so um, complacent as to where where I want to go and what I want to do to spec into something. Now that I've sort of got something um, to sort of work on, I'm probably going to end up doing that. Um, and yeah, we'll probably sort of, you know, um, call it as it is from that point. Um, actually, what I might do is I might go into a bunker-esque base. If it's in this biome it should be in this biome so i'm pretty much nearly there anyway so we're gonna we're gonna roll in and i'm gonna go into a poi that's underground and hopefully this should give me a um it should give me a um uh an opportunity to possibly find some things yeah okay so we'll go ahead and do that and there are a couple of bookshelves in there, all that sort of good stuff as well. So this might be a good option, but we'll see. See how we do with this, because I don't, honestly don't know, to be honest. So this is where I was actually living at there. So you notice that tower over there? That's pretty much where I sort of built out a base for myself. And um, yeah, just sort of gotten to um, get to know this area here and sort of loot um, a lot of key areas around here. So that's basically where I'm at with that. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm just going to jump over here because I think it's around this area. Yes, it is. There we go. So this thing here, this is a neat little POI. It is locked. Um, and you do have a little um, bits and pieces down there too. So if I can get in here nice and quickly... Um, just sort of show you what's going on here. It's going to take me a little bit to do, so what I might do is I might just quickly switch out and um, I will come back in a moment because this here is going to sort of take a while for me to break into. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so I am in the un underground bunker here, guys. Actually, I might just turn up the gamma a little bit more. Yes, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but... Um, I didn't want to have a dark video for you guys. So I'm hoping that you guys can see this um, okay. Um, looks fine on my end here, but when you guys actually watch it on YouTube, I look, I don't know until you guys start watching it and want, when I start reviewing the video. But what I might do is I might just probably do a quick edit and brighten up the area. And hopefully that might be suitable for you guys. But anyway, um, inside the bunker, you can hear those footsteps down there. It is dark now, so they are feral. They're all, all on sprinting mode. Um, but this this little bunker here, you don't need to clear any zombies out. You basically just jump down here, um, 
don't want to open up this door because it's locked and I think it's got over 10,000 hit points so you don't want to bother yourself with that. So I more or less just did for half the value knock down one of these, um, uh, two of these uh, concrete blocks and I managed to get myself in. But we'll do a quick tour and we'll start opening up and leaving some things whilst we're waiting uh, for daytime to come because I mean it's going to be yeah it's going to be a long night and you can just hear those guys they are really really pissed off at the moment because they can't get down to me if they manage to get their way down uh, through that little hatch there I'm probably screwed I guess in a sense but I've got some bullets here to back me up and I should be okay with my gun so yeah we'll see how we go with that but yeah look. If you guys are looking to get yourself a starter base, oh, nice. What did I get here? What's this? Um, hit and run. Use this dirty trick to win in desperate situations. Power attacks to the legs. Um, uh, sorry, to the leg leg slow enemies. Oh, okay. Sweet. I think that's my second one today. I can make the magnum now, which is amazing. So, yeah, decent reason play came down here. Hopefully, to get some pretty good loots. But um, so far so good. I've got the door here as well blocking the guys from coming in and I've also made a wooden hatch up there so I'm hoping that will be enough. But if you guys want a basic base um, just for yourselves and you don't need to use this as a horde base, use this, use this as a, um, you know, a means of just your home base so you can just chill out, you know, get some crafting done, things like that here you know, overnight if you have to. And at least that way you guys will sort of be more on the safe side and you don't really have to sort of, you know, flush out any zombies or anything like that and, you know, excuse me, deal with that. So that would be my suggestion and I hope you guys really um, sort of appreciate that. Um, and if you basically got a wrench, you may as well wrench up these beds here because you'll get a ton of materials out of this as well, which is a neat little prospect. Um, and yeah, I mean, springs are going to be golden when you need it further down the line as well for certain uh, modifications, things like that, if you're going to get into making mods uh, for your weapons and tools and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, good idea to sort of invest in that if you guys can. Um, no, that's just a air conditioning. And lo and behold, you get yourself a free cooking pot if you come down here. So all the better to come down here just so oh acid nice I'll take that now um yeah and just grab what's about because you really don't know what you're going to find down here you might not find anything the things like the cooking pot and stuff like that you'll be able to get straight away so i don't see why not you've got some wood here as well so if you want to sort of get started on um, just scrapping a few things if you didn't get anything to begin with, you know, it's only little um, But yeah, you definitely want to sort of make a meal out of this 100% um, What is that? Cotton seed, okay, I might just hang on to that, we'll see how we go And same deal with this, secret room um, You just want to break into here, 500 hit points for this block here And then 2500 for that, versus like, I think seven to 10,000 So yeah, do the math if I were you guys, on that one there so secret room, ooh generator, engine, nice, grab that, why not, um, search that, some food, beautiful, and we open up this toilet, and I've got some water which is good, I can, why did I do that, I don't know why I did that, anyway don't do that, why the hell did I do that, oh my, I'm an idiot, idiot, um, yeah, I don't know why, I'm, I'm talking and I'm just not thinking, that's basically where it's at, guys. Um, okay, rub that, that's cool, so yeah, getting some pretty decent loot, I'm going to say that for second last. Um, what did I get here, ooh, nice, still pickaxe, search, and that's unlocked already, so you can just pretty much go ahead and open that bad boy up and get what is in there, so why not, we go all of that, and yes, they are freaking out like crazy there, um, up there, so don't be too discouraged guys, just um, ignore them. Okay, so I've got some iron crossbow and crossbow bolts, um, yeah, alright, that's fine. Um, but right now guys, that's pretty much it. They haven't gone down this far yet, so which is good, I can sort of camp out here for now. Speaking of camping, um, I might as well just make a campfire, and let's craft up one of those guys. Whack that on, pop the um, the uh, the old cooking pot in there as well. 
And um, yeah, I'll be able to suck in a few things here and there. Should probably put it there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go to use because I can dump you in there nice and easy. And actually, what I can make is some bacon and eggs because I've got the meat for it, which is awesome. So, why the hell not? <laughs> get some food back into us, get some stamina back into us, most importantly, as well. And I can cook some of this uh, murky water into some bottled water, which is good. And yeah, that's it. That's the way to do it, guys. Why the hell not? So if you've got the um, if you've got the ability to farm this little POI here, you definitely want to make sure that you get down here because you get some pretty decent loot at the beginning. And yeah, you realistically now um, you know you should be safe. You probably want to make yourself a horde base in conjunction with the um, uh, with your home base here because I'd probably just leave this base you know as a um, pretty much as like your um, just your home you know and just craft things you've got a generous amount of space over here as well that you can set yourself up with some uh, workstations and things like that here so yeah you'd probably be, be, be uh, best off doing that and yeah just taking it from there got all this here to play with um, and just set yourself up that's it alright so I'm gonna stick it out here guys and hopefully I don't get killed by by the morning um, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the video here. Make sure you hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and share the video. Um, aside from that, appreciate you guys stopping by. Take it easy and catch you next time.